So we've really got five main species of cockroach, the most common being Blatella germanica, or German cockroach. We've got Blatter orientalis, or oriental cockroach. Then there's Periplaneta australia, and Periplaneta americana, which are an Australian American cockroach. And then there's Sulipella longlipalpa, which is our brown banded cockroach. So cockroaches are nocturnal insects. Um, so they're mainly out at night, they're omnivorous scavengers and they will literally feed on anything that's protein, so be it plant or animal protein. The most interesting thing about cockroaches and what makes them really hard to treat is the fact that they produce utheca, which are egg cases. The egg cases are impenetrable to chemical and depending on the cockroach species there's different sort of time for the egg development. So the Utheca of a German cockroach, German cockroach is a really good mother. She actually carries the Utheca for a month and then when the eggs are ready to hatch, she drops the Utheca, the eggs hatch immediately and you've got anything from 35 to 40 eggs in a German cockroach Utheca. The larger cockroaches are Oriental, are Australian and are American cockroach don't carry the egg case for long. The Oriental carries it for three or four hours and drops it, usually in a random place like a void or in a drain. The Australian and the American cockroach will carry the Utheca for a few hours and then they usually cement them in place in areas that are out of reach. The main problem with cockroaches is obviously that they're vectors for diseases and pathogens and they spread things like salmonella um, and the other thing that's quite interesting as well, there's been a lot of studies that show and link that they can trigger things like asthma as well. So the main problem with them is trying to treat them. Firstly, because they're nocturnal and also then because of the Utheca. So you can go in and you can do a treatment. So you do a spray treatment, you might knock down the adults as long as you get the spray into all the harbourages, but you're not going to get to the Utheca. So you're going to need to monitor and plan your treatments for sometimes up to three months to make sure you've cleared, especially when you've got two month utheca development. So you can be clear for that time and then those utheca hatch and then you've got the nymphal problem again.